everyone, it's Narelle here and today I'm going to show you how to design a pop-up place card in Cricut Design Space. So here's my little sample cards on the screen and this is the project that I'm going to create today. So it's a little place card for the table. You can, ha you can put your name on it if you wish. Um, and then it has um, a little image of some flowers at the top uh, that I have used a pen to draw. Now you can do this using any cut image. You can use this as a um, print then cut image. Uh, you can foil this. You can do basically any of the steps that are available in Design Space. You can do that instead of drawing like I've done here. Uh, that's entirely up to you, but I'm going to show you how to do it, um, doing it as a draw image. So let's go over to Design Space. And the first thing I need to do is decide the size that my finished card is going to be when it's folded. And I'm going to make it so that my card, when folded, is four inches wide by two inches tall. And that is the size that I need to add my first shape. So I'm going to go over to the shapes button and click on the square and that brings in this two inch by two inch square and I want that to be four inches wide but I want to keep the height at two. So I'm going to unlock this little lock here and then I'm going to change the width to four and that now makes my rectangle four inches wide and it's left the height at two inches. Let's move that up to the top and I want this to sit up at zero on the Y axis. So I'm going to put zero in there and now it's sitting right at the very top of my screen. Now I'll change the color of this just so that it's easier for you to see what's happening on screen. So I'm going to go and change that to white. Now I want a second one of these because I need two of these rectangles to make up my finished card. So I want to duplicate this image. Now I can go to the duplicate button here in the layers panel, or I could go edit, copy, and then paste. But what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this and I want it to sit right on top of this one here. So to do that, I hold down the Alt button on my keyboard and you can see that my cursor arrow now has a little plus symbol right beside it. So when that appears, I'm going to click down on my square or my rectangle, and then I now have two of the same size rectangles, one right on top of the other. So there's them there. So what I want to do is I'm going to move this bottom one down to the two inch point. So I'll go over to the Y button here and I'll put in two and now I've got one rectangle here at the top at zero and my other one is at two. Now when I finish this I'm going to be welding or uniting these two to make one um, a four by four square but we'll be doing that as one of our final steps. So I don't need this one here at the moment so I'm going to go over to the layers panel and I'm going to click on that eye and I'm going to hide that so now I need my image that's going to be cut out of this card. So I'll go over to images. Um, I'm searching for flowers and the flower that I'm going to use is this one here. So I'm going to click on this plus button here and that's going to add it to my canvas. So now I can then click back off images and there it is there. Now I've zoomed in quite a bit here, so let's go back to 100%. Now I need to change the size of this, obviously, because it's come in quite large. So let's go with that size there. And I might just zoom back in again, just to make things a little bit easier to see. So I've got my flowers here. Now my card is four inches wide and I'm going to make this three inches wide. Now this time I want the height to change when I change the width. So I make sure that my lock is still locked and I'm going to change the width of this one to three inches. Now this is going to sit about halfway um, between the top rectangle and the bottom rectangle. So you need to work out basically how much of this image you want to pop up. So let's let's go 
about here and I think you can see that everything here that's above this bottom line of the rectangle that's all going to be cut and I think that's probably um, a good amount and that's that's what will actually pop up so let's go with that and I want to align this center on my rectangle so I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go align center horizontally so let's just change the color of this one make that one purple so just so you can see things a little bit better so now we're going to with that one we're going to select that again and I want to again do a duplicate of this image so I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did before I'll hold down the alt button and then click on the image and I've now got two of those flowers so this one here I'm going to change to a draw image so I'm going to go up to operation I'll click on this down arrow here and then I'm going to change that to pen now that's sitting behind this so let's go and just hide that one for now so this one here is now going to be drawn I can change the color of that to whatever I want that to actually be drawn with um, but obviously whatever pen color you put in the machine itself is is the color that your image will draw but for now I'm just going to change that to a pink and that's how it will look when it's drawn so I'm going to hide that now and I'm going to bring back this other flower so now on this image I need to make an offset so I select it by either clicking on it here or clicking on it in the layers panel and then I'm going to go up to offset and I don't want a huge offset what I want is one that's fairly close to my image but not too small so I'm going to make that um, 0.69 and what I, the way that I did that was I just clicked on that and then I used my arrow keys on my keyboard um, to move it up and down so now I'm going to click apply and there's my first offset so let's hide these flowers for now because I don't need those and you can see that my offset has all the inside pieces cut out from my original image so to get rid of those I'm going to go to contour and then I'm going to click on hide all contours and it's going to hide all those inside pieces and just leave me with the outline there so let's click off there and you can see that I've now got a solid shape I'm going to change the color of that because I need to make another offset and I want you to be able to see that a little bit better so let's go and make this one yellow so as I said we now need to make another offset so I'm going to bring back my original flower image and I'm going to use this again to make another offset so I'm going to go up to offset again and this one's going to be a little bit smaller than my original one so it's stayed at 0.69 so again I'm going to click on this little button here then use my arrow keys on my keyboard and go to the left again and I think one more step is going to be just right so at 0.42 is what I want so again I'll click apply now let's hide some of these so we'll hide our original purple flower image and again I've got an offset that's got the pieces cut out from inside I'm going to go back to contour and then hide all contours to give me that solid outline again so let's change the color of that one to something that's a little bit easier to see so now what I've got is a green offset and a slightly larger yellow offset and what I want to do is select both of those and I'm going to slice one out of the other so with both of those selected I go down to slice and I now have this extra layer here so let's hide our green and yellow layers because we don't need those anymore and now I've got this image here which is just an outline 
and I'm going to take that image and I'm then going to slice it from this image. So let's select both of those and now I go back to slice and that gives me all of these. So all I want is this piece here. So I'm going to hide all of the other bits and that leaves me with this. Now it's a bit hard to see what's actually happened here. So what I'm going to do is change the color of my canvas so that you can see what's going on. To do that, I go down here where it says blank canvas. I click on that um, button there. I go up to color and then I pick a canvas color. So let's go here and select this one here and it changes that. I'll go to advanced and just make that a little bit lighter so that it's a little bit easier to see here. And now you can see, especially if I zoom in a bit more, you can see what's happened here. I've got my white rectangle and then I've got this line here or double edged line that's going to cut from that white rectangle. The next thing I need to do is bring back in my second rectangle. So we'll go down here and that's this one here. We'll unhide that. And what I have to do is weld this rectangle to this rectangle. So I'm going to select both of those. Let's zoom out just a little bit here. So I'll select both of those. I'll go to combine and I'm not going to select weld only because weld can't be undone once you close your project. So instead I'm going to select unite because unite can be reversed. And when you do that, you can see that the two rectangles have become one. So I've now got a four by four square and I've got this piece here that's going to be cut out. So let's go and find our drawn layer. So that's here at the bottom. We'll show that, but it's sitting behind everything. So I'm going to right click on that and select bring to front. So we're almost there. We've got our drawn layer here, which is sitting inside this line here, which is going to be cut out. What we need now is we need some score lines. So we're going to have a small score line here and then another one over here. And then if you want to, you add your name that's going to be drawn as well. So let's go and put our score lines in first. So we go to shapes, we go to this one here, to the score line. I'm going to rotate that so that it's 90 degrees. And let's put this, so let's have a look. We'll see where our square is sitting. It's sitting at 2.41. So we'll put our score line also at 2.41. And then I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to hold down the shift button so that it doesn't move up and down. And then I'm going to drag that in and I'll move that so that it's just, just before my little cut line there. And I need to make sure that this is halfway um, up and down on this shape here. So that's going to be at two inches. So there's my first score line. I want another one of those. So I'm going to hold down the Alt button because I'm going to duplicate this. So I'll hold down the Alt. I'm also going to hold down the Shift key at the same time. And then I'm going to drag that across. And the Shift key has kept it at the two inch mark. It stopped it from moving up and down. So I let go of everything. And then I can then make this smaller and I don't want it to go outside of that uh, um, edge of that card. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to click the square and I'm going to align right. Okay, so there's my two score lines. Okay, so now I need to go and add my text. So I'm just going to zoom back out and then I'm going to click on the text button and type my text. So then I'm going to go up here to the style and I'm going to select writing. 
because I want single line text and then I want something that's a little bit prettier than that one for this so I'm going to go up to the font box let's move that out of the way I want a writing font so I'll select that so my filter is still on for writing and then I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to find a font that I think will look nice when it's written so I'm going to find a nice handwritten font here so let's have a look and see what this one looks like that's not too bad but what I'd actually like is something cursive so I'm going to go over to these filters here and I'm going to go over to the right and I'm going to click on cursive and that will then just show me the fonts that are cursive so let's have a look and see what we might like with that one let's have a look and see what Alyssa looks like and that one's quite nice I like that so I can click off and then make that whatever size I want it to be and then position that and there's my text ready so now I've got everything ready I just need to select it all so I can either drag my mouse around everything there or I can select uh, select all up here or I can go control a and that's going to select everything that's showing on my canvas it's not going to select any of these other items here that I've hidden okay so now that I've got all that selected I'm going to go down here to attach and that's going to attach my text and my flower and my score lines onto my card base so let's go and have a look and see if that worked we'll go over to the make button so that's what you should get if you've done all the steps correctly so I've got a score layer here so it's first thing it's going to do is do these two score lines it's then going to prompt me to put in the pen and it's going to draw my flower image it's also then going to ask me to change the color because my flower image here is a different color to the text that I've drawn if you want this to be the same color you can go and change your text so that it's the same color as your flower but that's obviously just a style choice so I've left that um, to prompt me to put in a black pen but again whatever pen I put in to my Cricut is what will be drawn so it's going to first ask me for the pink and it's going to draw my flower it's then going to say put in the black pen so I'll put in my next pen color um, and then once it's done all of that it's then going to cut so it's going to cut this line here out and it's then going to cut around the outside so when you take this off the mat you're going to find that you've got obviously your square shape here and then you'll have this little uh, sliver of cardstock that should be left behind on your mat if your mat's sticky enough obviously um, if it if it isn't that sticky it may come away with the card when you remove it from the mat but just pull that little sliver of cardstock out and then when you fold this so you're going to fold this backwards um, and then you'll find that your flower will pop up so hopefully that was clear enough and not too difficult definitely give it a try because once you've done this a few times you'll find it very easy to do and again you can use this with um, drawn images you can use this with cut images you can use this with text you can use it with print then cut you can use it with foil so whatever uh, floats your boat really so hopefully uh, you enjoyed that and uh, if you do happen to make any of these I'd love to see what you come up with you can post them in my Facebook group Cricut Explore Maker and More um, if you do I'd love to see what you come up with so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time